town will be safe for a while, they say. They say. Could you teach me something about alchemy? That depends. Are you ready to learn? Is your mind open to the knowledge? Am I ready to teach you? Yes, I think I am. But there are dangers. This is not a discipline to be taken lightly. I shall guide you, but you must beware. Surely not much can go wrong with mixing potions. Normally, no. But the ingredients we use here are strange. We are far from the mainland, and the materials we are finding in these temples have unknown properties. My last experiment was almost literally my last, if you understand. So be warned. Tell me more about your studies. I am fascinated by those that built this temple. Unraveling their ancient, dangerous secrets. This stone, for example. Obsidian, these ancients called it. Hugely resilient. It served them as a raw material for their weapons and armor. Weapons made of this would be very damaging. So, if someone could find any weapons they had left behind. What can you teach me about alchemy? How do I brew potions? The simplest of potions draw on the natural properties of their ingredients. All you need to do is draw them out into solution by heating them in a liquid. That's all? That's all. If you have the knowledge of which ingredients to use and in what proportions. How do I know what ingredients to use? The instructions are easy to come by. You can buy instructions for a normal healing potion from any alchemist, for example. Rare and valuable potions are something else. The instructions for those are well guarded. Remember, knowledge is power. I am ready to learn more about alchemy. You have learned about making potions through solution. But some plants need a little more preparation. You will need to filter and heat them more than once to take advantage of their properties. This method will also help you to strengthen solutions. You have things to sell. What can you teach me about alchemy? I'd like to learn more about alchemy. Good. You're keen. Let me show you how to distill portions. What effect does that have? A distilled potion is much purer than a filtered potion. It doesn't contain impurities that can weaken or mask the effect. Thus, simple potions are strengthened, and you can create more complex ones from subtler ingredients. Many potions which permanently change your characteristics require distillation. It is an important technique.
Tristan says you should take me to the rear gate of Harbour Town. All right. But it's a long, dangerous journey. This island is far from safe, you know. So be prepared. I'm ready. Let's go to Harbour Town. Stay behind me. All right? The island is full of dangers, even this lake down here. Stay on the walkway and you should be safe. Let's move on. This way, come on. We have to move on. This way, come on. This is it. That way leads to the main gate of Harbour Town. I suggest you don't go down there though. That will take you to the Warriors of the Order. You want to go to the Monastery to join the Order? Go that way. You don't want that? Don't go there, because they won't give you a choice. Thanks. I think I get the point. Let's go on. All right, we're moving. If you follow this path up, you'll end up at the monastery. But the sign will tell you that, right? That's what signs are for. Need me to guide you further? Yes, go on. Come on then. We have to move on. What possessed? Ah, good stuff. Die, you damn creature. Neat work. We have to move on.
You'll have to make your own way to the rear entrance of the town, but it isn't much farther. From here, keep heading south through the narrow corridor. Keep going until you reach a high cliff, then follow that. It'll take you straight to the town gate. And I can just walk in? One of the town guards will probably be outside the gate, but I'm sure you can find a way to convince the sentry to let you pass. Convince them? How do I do that? If you have enough gold on you, I'm sure that will help persuade him. That's how the old guards seem to work. Corruption is everywhere. I see. Now I need to get back to my grain field. Good luck.
Who could teach me to pick locks? Hey, you! Don't you know it's forbidden to run around outside the town? Are you part of the town guard? That's right. I'm guarding the gate so no one can leave. Shouldn't you stand inside then? Well, I also have to stop people coming in. What if I want to get in? I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Or would you rather go to the monastery? What's going on in the monastery? They say they do training. But everyone knows they enchant people up there. Enchant them? A couple of the boys, they took her back in town. Before, they didn't take the law seriously. Now they blindly follow the Inquisitor. If that's not enchantment, you explain it. Maybe they're weak-minded. That's what you say. But I'm telling you, the Inquisitor has ways to make you obey. And once you enter the monastery, you're at his mercy. What are things like in the town? Used to be good, but since Don Esteban left, Inquisition's in charge now. Brought the farmers into town, then sealed the gates. That's the Inquisitor's new law. And Commandant Carlos has everyone who violates the law taken to the monastery. Tell me about Don Esteban. Great man, great man. Most people probably think he ran away from the Inquisition, but that's not true. No? No. He set up camp in the swamp to take gold out of the ruins himself. That's what this is all about. Gold. He left a couple of his men here to carry on his business while he gets his share. So the town has divided loyalties. You live here, you've got to choose. Stay loyal to the Don, to our people, or help the swanky bastards from the mainland. Of course, you can just keep your head down, try and keep out of trouble. Trouble finds people. If you say so. I just follow orders, mate. But trust me, you don't want to side with the Order. You want to help the Don. And you work for the Don? Me? No. 
I'm part of the town guard, and all citizens must do what Commandant Carlos says. And you don't like that? You can't cut deals with the warriors of the Order. The Don's men were always open to a good deal. You mean you could buy them off? Call it what you want. A deal is a deal. And everyone was happy. What can you tell me about Commandant Carlos? He's the new boss. He and his warriors of the Order try to keep law and order. They try? Well, the Don's men don't let them have it all their own way, right? Things are quiet now, but that could change any time. How much to let me in? Hundred gold coins, but you can't come and go as you like. Once you're in, you're in. You're asking for a lot of gold. Be glad I don't take twice as much to save you from the monastery. But I'm not an asshole. I'm willing to haggle. If you don't have enough gold, you can trade things instead. Let's trade. Just let me in. I'll let you in, provided you have the gold. Here's your gold. All right, but not a word to anyone about our little deal. Otherwise, we'll both wind up in the monastery. Are you going to let me in? Well, you want to go in uninformed, that's up to you. But here, at least take a town map. Good luck. You'll need it.